everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to create my Chloe cane in polymer clay. Woohoohoo! <laughs> yes, so you guys should really enjoy this one. And what I'm doing right here is I'm, of course, rolling up, and this is going to be a plug of black clay, and it's eventually going to be one and an eighth inches to one and a quarter inches in diameter, okay? Now, you're going to make one of these like that in black, and then you're going to make the same thing again in white. So you need to make sure both of these particular stumps are the same size, one in white and one in black. Okay, so sometimes when it comes to these plugs, I like to go ahead and just put them right by each other or actually just connect them to see if they're the same size, like that. Just to kind of see, okay, are they the same size? It's almost easier than trying to use some kind of ruler like, okay, is this is a quarter, uh, one and a quarter inches? I don't know. <laughs> so that might help a little bit. Okay, from right here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start rolling up our black um, plug. And this is a flattened out on an Atlas machine on a number one setting, so your second largest setting. And you're gonna wrap this particular black stump three times. So you're gonna wrap it once, you're gonna cut it off, and then you're gonna wrap it again. I don't wanna keep wrapping like you would sometimes do like on a jelly roll cane. You're gonna connect it up and then you're gonna cut that off and you're gonna do it again and again. So three different times. Now, of course, you notice I'm back with my scissors trimming, trimming up my little bullseye going on here. And also, every once in a while, you could tell that I didn't have enough white clay to go all the way around that bullseye. I just filled in where it stopped and just keep going. And remember to use that grease mark when you want to go ahead and cut it flush. Okay, so I'm starting to wrap this up on my second layer here on this white bullseye piece. And I, you notice I've got like an area. This sometimes happens. If you don't have enough, eh, take a piece, you know, put it in. The, the thing that you have to remember always, always with caning, is that what it, what it looks like from the side. In other words, that bullseye, not the lengthwise, or I should say, where you're looking at the actual tube part. <laughs> no, you're trying to look for what it looks like on that very end.
Okay, so now that I've got these bullseyes put together, let's go ahead and have some fun. And I'm gonna take my tissue blade or my, you know, my six inch blade, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut both of these bullseyes in half. Now, if you have to, and I eyed it here, um, I highly recommend <laughs> when you go to create this cane, I would actually go ahead, measure out that bullseye, find out where dead center is, and then cut down. I eyeballed it, and you know, looking back at it now, I'm like going, it probably would have been better if I measured it out precisely. Because right here, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna rejoin these up. So if you don't have dead center on that bullseye, eh, it might not be joining up quite as nicely. This, I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky here. <laughs> so really, um, I definitely suggest making sure using that ruler to cut dead center. Okay, so now I'm taking some more black clay and you can tell I've already rolled it up into kind of a bit of a plug or that's what we're gonna be going for. Eventually here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and flatten this out into a square log. So, and that square log is gonna wind up being about, I wanna say, three quarters of an inch in diameter. So make sure you get these precise also because you're gonna do one in black and then you're gonna do one in white. Okay, so now again, I'm getting that white cane, that square cane. You can kind of tell I'm using my black as kind of a bit of a guide. So this way, in using that black as my guide, the white will be the same as well. Just like I did with the bullseyes, I want to make sure they're exactly the same. And now that I have that, let's go ahead and I'm cutting them diagonally. So you're going to have four pieces overall. Now you're going to take half of that um, bullseye with the black core and the white, and you're gonna put one of those black triangles on one, one on the other, and the same with the white core with the black outside. So I had to make sure I had my triangles just so, excuse my shaky camera. <laughs> but I wanna make sure I had them just about right. And then we're just gonna put those in. And just so you know, I am doing this with Kato clay, so if I do make a mistake, I can easily go ahead and pull those canes back apart and reform it again which I'm kind of thinking about doing because notice here, my triangles are not terribly pointy. That is key. Make sure those triangles are really pointy because look, my black goes right into my black there. We don't really want that. And the white doesn't even connect up at all. So let's try it again. Okay, so right here you could tell I've totally taken it apart. And what I decided to do instead was I'm gonna take and build from the center outwards. And this is really the best way to do it. And make sure, again, those triangles, if you can make those really nice and pointed, it really helps when it comes to that design. And then from here, you could tell I put half a bullseye on each side. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just reducing this down. Um, you are going to notice that the humped areas are going to go ahead and they're going to flatten up against that square piece in the center. And that's going to help make and create this design just a little bit better. Your, um, the black and the white that's wrapped around your cores on those half bullseyes, those will eventually kind of become a little bit of a pointed area because we're turning this into a square cane. So, you, you know, I, when I first started, I was gonna go ahead and pinch those bullseyes. And the more I thought about, no, don't do that. <laughs> Let this thing form itself. And it, it really worked a whole lot better.
Okay, so just as a reminder when it comes to the reducing, make sure you use even pressure when you're using your acrylic rod when you're rolling this out to make it smaller. Also, when you go to press it with your hands, or I should say pinch it, make sure, again, even pressure all the way around. And I like to pull it a little bit too. And once you have that done, go ahead and then take your blade and cut this thing in half. And uh, right there, there's your pattern. And oh, I, you know, I just, I loved how this thing, oh, comes about. It's so much fun. So I cut that in half and then I'm gonna go ahead and just work with the other half. I like to leave a little bit of cane extra that's a little larger. This way then if I, if I need more, I can always reduce it down. But you know, as they say, you can't go backwards. So whatever you begin with, that's what you've got. Um, so from here, I, again, I'm reducing it down and then I'm gonna cut a slice off on the one side. So I do that because I wanna know like right here, this is at three quarters of an inch now. It's been reduced down to three quarters of an inch. So I like to have a slice of that, of that size. That's what it looks like. Um, and eventually here, I'm going to cut more slices, of course, from this. But after this, I decide, okay, I, I don't want three quarters. I want to reduce this down even further because this is a fairly, you know, I mean, it's not a simple, simple pattern, but it's simple enough that it's like, okay, we could reduce this down and get more cane work and then cut this. So I'm shooting for close to half, half an inch on this particular cane. And a lot of it was dictated too as to how long I want this to go. I usually don't like to get anything more than, too much more than eight inches. And right here, I'm looking at, yeah, okay, that's about eight inches. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it in half. And once I have that, I'm gonna take that, we're gonna cut it yet again. So we will have four pieces of this cane all together. Okay, now we're cutting and now we've got the four pieces and you take two and match them up black to white, black to white. And you're going to do this all the way around and this is going to give you your black and white Chloe pattern. Okay, so now that I've got this thing put back together as best I can, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut slices from this cane. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place these slices side by side, creating a nice flat sheet of the overall pattern. I wanted to do this so you guys would get a good idea as to what this thing really looks like once you have it all in a nice big sheet. So as you can tell here, I'm reducing it down just a little bit more and I'm measuring it and there we go. <laughs> it's a little over an inch long or no, I should say an inch in diameter, not long. <laughs> so a little over an inch. And then, like I said, I'm going to place these down and you're going to get a better idea of what this cane and its effect is. Okay, so here are the results from creating my Chloe cane. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'm always wondering what you guys are thinking. Otherwise, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.